Hello, I'm Alexander from Cyber Acoustics Tech Support. Today I'm going to be walking you through setting up a 3.5 millimeter CTIA headset on a Windows 10 computer. So go ahead and grab your mouse and try to follow along with me. Okay, let's begin. To start, go ahead and plug in the 3.5 millimeter plug of the headset into your computer's headset port. Some computers don't have headset ports, but instead have an audio and microphone port. For these types of computers, you will need a headset to audio and microphone Y cable splitter. To set up the headset with the Y cable, simply plug in the 3.5 millimeter side of the cable into the 3.5 millimeter port on the adapter. Next, on the back of your computer, locate the microphone port. The microphone port's red or sometimes pink. You'll see that on the adapter, there's a microphone symbol on one of the plugs. Put the plug in with the microphone symbol into the microphone port. Great, now let's locate the audio out port. The audio out port is the green port on the back of your computer. Put the plug with the headset symbol on it into the speaker output. All right, that's it for that. Let's continue. Now, down in the right-hand corner of the screen, by the time and date, locate the speaker icon. Right-click the speaker icon and hover above Sound Settings, and left-click Sound Settings. Now you are in the Sound Settings window. Next, go here to Output, and under Choose Your Output Device, left-click the down caret, and select your audio output channel that's built into your computer. Mine is called High Definition Audio Device, Typically, they're called Realtek Audio. Cyber Acoustics headsets work with the computer's sound cards and generic drivers built into your computer, so you don't have to download anything new. Double check that the master volume is on and check for sound. Here we can see my headset is not muted and it's set to 85. Next, go to input and under Choose Your Input Device, left-click the down caret and select your generic audio input option. Mine is called Microphone High Definition Audio Device, but typically they will be Realtek. Now, here where it says Test Your Microphone, so let's speak into the microphone. If the microphone is working, this blue bar should be reactive. See how it goes up and down as I speak? Next, go to the Device Properties and let's set the microphone input volume down to somewhere between the range of 65 and 85. This way we aren't too loud for our next virtual meeting. Here I already have it set to 73, but I'll go ahead and bring it on down to 66. And that's it, we're all set up. Thank you for joining us, and if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us from our tech support on our website. That's www.cyberacoustics.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.